Just thought I'd show you a nice little feature that we've discovered in Z Suite, which means that you can print with two different colours on your Zortrax M200. So now I'm going to show you how. So I'm just going to drop the STL file into Z Suite. It's a um, just a Dream 3D keyring that we've designed quickly, um, but it has some text on the top, so we're going to make the text really stand out in a different colour. I'm just going to resize the uh, keyring so it fits on the build plate and make it a bit smaller so it doesn't take too long. Also, I don't think you really want a giant keyring. Okay, and now I'm just going to select print and um, choose the material, which is ZABS. And I think I'll just leave it on 0.14 quality and light infill. We can leave the support as standard. It's not going to use any because it doesn't need any. So now I'm just going to select pause. Zoom in a bit and then slide the bar along to where I want it to pause. So I want to do it on the first layer of the lettering, which is there. Click insert. And there you can see it's represented by that red line there. And that's where it's going to pause and then we'll have an opportunity to change the colour. So now I'm going to click save to print. Save it on the SD card, go over to the machine and find the file to print. Now I'm going to select change the material here and the filament will be ejected at the top. So I'll just take this white filament off. It's important to uh, make sure that you slot the loose end through the hole on the spool otherwise they can get tangled. Just grab the black spool, put it on the spool holder and feed it through. Now insert it into the hole and then press the button here and it will load the material. And now you'll see the white filament come out and it will gradually change into the black colour. And I'll just pull away the excess. And now we're ready to resume print. So here's the end result. Um, you can see it's actually really neat, um, the finish. Because I pulled off the uh, small amount of filament on the nozzle, there hasn't been any, any imperfections on it at all. So uh, really nice. I like the way that you can do it on the software rather than just pausing it on the, on the machine. I think it's a nicer way because you can get it to pause at exactly the right time. So we got it to pause as soon as it starts the letters. So there's not a hint of white on the letters at all. Um, so uh, yeah, give it a go yourself and um, let us know what you, uh, what you print. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.